What excites you about the opportunity is being able to coach one at the University of Houston and just the, the great opportunity to follow some, some other great offensive coaches and the, just the standard and level of play that you're going to be involved in right now here is, is so exciting in the interest of the city of Houston and just the whole environment about what's going on here right now is what's really exciting about the deal. Uh, well, it, I don't know if it intrigued you, but early on, those were the jobs you can get. You know, when you're first out of college and you're 26, 27 years old, you got to go, you got to start someplace. You know, and I was real fortunate, and you know, I'd worked at some different places and at Western New Mexico for Land Jacobson and you know Vance Gibson at Howard Payne and different people, and you just, you know, lucky that guys gave you a chance at a young age and could help you. It gives you a little bit of sense of maybe a humble beginning. You know, you're a little bit more humble where you start at sometimes, and and you understand that you know it's still football. You know, it's still players and coaches and, and a family environment for a university that that's going to make the thing a whole. You know, I, I think that's part of it. It just gives you a different view of, you know, everybody's trying to trying to get everything done and, and work the same direction at all the times. I've been real fortunate getting to recruit Houston over the last 10, 12 years, you know, being down here all the time and know the same high school coaches and been in the same area and, and it's gotten easier over the years. I can still remember my first year coming to Houston, got lost a couple times on 610 and caught in the rain and running around all over the place, but it's, it's really neat. And I, I think just knowing the coaches and knowing that when you're in their offices and talking to their players that you are sincere and, and you really do care about what's going to happen to them. I think the kids and the players are the ones that give you the confidence every year. You know, once you get to know them and their capabilities and their athleticism and, and even their temperament about how to win a game and play, that, that, that's what really helps you. Um, you know, as confidence goes, I, I think you just, it's like anything, the more you do it and the bumps and bruises that come along the way, you learn from it and you learn from the good, but you also learn from the bad on how to be successful too. You know, we were really lucky to get in with Coach Mummy and Coach Leach when those guys were way back when and when they were at Kentucky, you know, and we kind of stalked them a little bit when I got my first job at Western New Mexico and, and just kind of, you know, begged, borrowed, and steal from them all the way through. And then I was lucky enough to live close enough to Lubbock and, and Texas Tech when those guys all got hired there. And I worked for a really good guy uh, that was able to, that worked for those guys at Iowa Wesley, and we would travel and hang out. and and go see those guys, you know, and, and knowing Dana and, and those guys and, and Coach Dawson, it's always, I think those guys are the ones that have always helped me and, and been my influence. I think the big thing is, is one, is, is that gives you the deal of being able to tell those players, those kids and those parents that, you know, it's going to be tough at times. You know, there's going to be an academic deal and there's going to be stuff that's going to go on with it. And, and my big thing is I always tell them, look, the football is really only 20% of your life on campus. The student body, the campus life is the other 80 that you're going to have to enjoy. I, I think the thing, like I always say to them is too, is, you know, don't, don't let football use you. You know, use football to get what you want. And I think that's the big thing is if you're looking at this coming in and saying you're going to be an NFL player or whatever, that's great. We all want to, we all want to play at that level and we want to be at that next level. But ultimately down the road, you want to be able to get the job that you want, not the job that you have to get. And I think that's where I've always been fortunate, you know, with my family life and my parents was my dad always said, you know, you get the job you want and you'll always be happy. And, and that's what I always say too. I think that's important. I think it's really big. You know, when we were at West Texas A&M and I was working for Coach Carthel, I, that was one thing he always taught us was, you know, you make, make sure you really take care of those high school coaches because those high school coaches ultimately are going to be the ones that send you players and take care of you and do the right things. And uh, that was something that's so true. You know, and I think the, the coaches know if you're sincere when you're sitting there that you really are going to take care of their player, you're going to help them get a degree. And when those parents ask that high school coach, which some of these high school coaches, you know, are raising these kids, you know, and taking care of them and the whole thing. 
that might be their biggest mentor. And I think when you're honest with them and they know that you're sincere, and I think that's what we've shown over the last few years and the time I've been able to recruit the state is that we care about those players and we're gonna do them right and take care of them. I think that goes a long ways. Well, a lot of times, you know, personal time for us is going to the movies as a family and, and doing things like that and getting out and maybe playing a little bit of golf every now and then. And, and But basically, it's, you know, hanging around the house and, and just being at home. You know, that's a lot of it. Well, I've got a, my wife and I have been together over 20-some years, been married at all this February, 18 of it. and. Uh, uh, we've got a son, uh, he'll be a, coming up, he'll be a senior next year in high school and uh, you know we've been a football family our whole existence you know since we've been dating and married and, and raising our kids and, and it's, it's been a great environment for us.